Hey guys, Penobi here, bringing you another narrated Wi-Fi battle with uh, Polkop from Poke Community Forums. It's a UU battle, and I'm going to lead off with my bulky Arcanine, she's going to lead off with Ambipom. Um, I'm going to get the Intimidate, while she goes for the Fake Out, and I'm, I'm going to flinch of course. Um, I see it's Life Orb, and that uh, Fake Out didn't really do much. I'm expecting a U-turn here, so I'm going to go for the extreme speed just to get some damage on it so that I could uh, priority move to finish it off later. But she's actually going to go for the double hit, which does uh, really respectable damage considering the Intimidate. And um, this Arcanine is a little bit bulky. So I'm just going to extreme speed again. I'm predicting a switch out to a fire resist, but she's just going to go into an Umbreon, which is an OU Pokemon. but. Uh, recently, Umbreon was moved to UU for a short period of time, and then it just um, very recently got put back to OU, and I guess she uh, didn't know that. So, you know, it's whatever. I'm just going to go for the Morning Sun, predicting her wish, and um, switch out into Rhyperior, just because I know it could uh, wall this thing. She's going to go for a Toxic and miss, but I don't really feel bad about that since it's an OU. Uh, she's going to go for Toxic again, which is okay, because this Rhyperior is max HP, max defense, and carries uh, rest. So she's going to go for the Wish while I go for an EQ. And um, that really doesn't do very much, since I don't have an attack investment on this Rhyperior. So since I'm Toxic, and since um, it has Wish, I'm predicting the Protect here. So I'm going to go into my uh, Subseeding Sceptile. Uh, so that free switch is really helpful for me. I'm going to go for a sub, predicting toxic, and plus that's just what sub do. do. Um, she was probably predicting, I don't know, focus blast or something. I don't know why uh, she stated. So I'm just going to go for the least seed on the switch, um, and it's ambipom. I'm going to switch out here because I was predicting uh, a double hit, which would uh, take out my sub and then hit me. But actually, Ambipom's base speed is uh, 115, not 120 like I thought it was, which is Sceptile's base speed. So I really could have stayed in there and still had my sub up. So that was a misplay on my part. But whatever, I finish off, uh, finish it off, and she's going to bring in a Doug Trio to try to uh, revenge kill. But I'm max HP, max defense, so it's not going to do enough damage. And plus, you know, um, the ability, which half's super effective moves. I'm actually interested to see how well I would have lived that, if at all, without my uh, particular EV investment. But she's going to bring in a Kingler and go for uh, Sword Dance while I go for the rest. Um, just because I carry, or I have two Heal Bellers on this team. Uh, so that's the strategy with that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into Arcanine for Death Fodder, but um, I was also going in for the Intimidate. And I totally did not realize Kingler had uh, that ability to suppress um, stat reduction. So I'm just going to go in and bring in my set tile because I know I can outspeed and uh, KO with an energy ball. And she decides to stay in. I don't really um, know why. Maybe she thought she'd outspeed. But Kingler's speed's horrible. I don't, I don't know why she stayed in because she does have a Gardevoir on this team. Uh, probably predicting my sub actually. So I'm going to go into um, Lantern on the Blaziken switch in just because I'm predicting a priority move or just in case. Um, well, actually, my sub really couldn't touch that Blaziken either way, but I was predicting a priority move. And uh, go into Lantern, go for a Confuse Ray, and that superpower did a lot actually. So I'm just hoping that uh, the Confuse hacks will go in my favor so I can get a rest off. But it doesn't turn. It doesn't really work out for me. And I'm gonna bring in, I believe, oh yeah, yeah, yeah my Altaria right here, just because after uh, the attack drops and everything, two attack drops, I know that it can't do anything to me. So I'm gonna go for a Dragon Dance on the switch, and I'm gonna go for a second Dragon Dance because I know a Gardevoir can't really touch me. Um, I'm really lucky I had Stealth Rocks there, so I can see that this Gardevoir does not have leftovers, so I do think it's going to have the light clay as soon as I see a screen put up. So I'm just going to stall out the 8 turn screen by uh, Dragon Dancing, 
heal belling to wake up my um, Rhyperior, and then um, roosting off the damage I take while uh, setting up. I don't really know why she's just staying in with Gardevoir, Psychicking, probably hoping to get some defense drops, and uh, she did get the one. Alright, yeah, right here, but uh, that's about it. So um, I pretty much get a free setup with this Altaria. She probably should have, I don't know, maybe switched into um, Umbreon after the screen went up to try to toxic wish stall or whatever. But I carry heal bell, so I don't know how well that would have worked. I guess this was an okay strategy. So yeah, this is kind of just a little bit of a stall uh, war. I guess while I wait out the screens. So sorry about that little bit of boredom. But I believe this is the last turn right here. Yes. So I'm just gonna go for the Dragon Dance now. I mean, uh, Dragon Claw, <laughs> which is an obvious KO. Uh, she's gonna bring an Umbreon and realize that she doesn't have anything that can uh, survive since all she has left is that Umbreon and. Ambipom, was it? So that was a good game, Polkop. 